So, um, can you stand up? Please, thank you. Yes. Nice time. He takes rest because he was a third year medical student at NYU, but he's not. He's now in a hospital in New Jersey. Long here? Term. Yeah, here in Florida. Because just like your daughter, nothing. Four days in the hospital, and then nothing. Nobody asks me anything. How does he be at home or, you know, whatever? Florida like ranks 49th in mental health. And then he went, one day he came home, and I said, you're out of the hospital for these two days? And they called me, I called the hospital, they said, oh, he asked for a smoke. They let him go outside without, and he just walked away. Yes. He was in Florida Medical. So what happened, he did something now that he probably was going to go to jail in, um, in New Jersey. And so I, I found out about it, and I got linked up with the prosecutor, and there, I totally sent 15 pages of his history from NYU, from high school. His behavior was commendable. He went to one of the best high schools in Yonkers, and, and I gave a 15-page package before the indictment. And I got it to the, what do you call that um, group that, that would indict for whatever the grand jury. And I'm jury. And I, I was able to get that package to the grand jury before wow. they did. And I said, my son has been in a lot of hospital. The system is not doing anything for him. And I'm asking you to put him in a place where he can get treatment and not in jail. And believe me, they did. They responded. And I'm in Florida. I don't know them. I don't see them. It's just my computer, my writing skills. And they put him in Antin Forensic Center in New Jersey, he's there one year and six months now, and he's responding to treatment. That four days, in and out, is not going makes to do it. Worse. Makes it, it, it makes it worse, it's not going to do it. Now, at first he wasn't taking the medication while he was there, he's on Respiradol, yes, right? And he's doing well. And he wasn't taking it. He would put it under his tongue, yeah. and he would walk away, he goes to his room, and then, but they found out that there was not a level in the bloodstream, so they knew he wasn't taking it. So the doctor was smart, but the, because he was a medical student, you know, mm -hmm. because the doctor even recommended, oh, that exam that you passed, that first exam, I failed it. And you passed, because I sent the package with everything, his first medical um, exam as a doctor. And um, so, you know, they gave him, you know what I mean, they sort of see him as one of in the profession, and he was good. What he did, he found the medication, the rest of the form, but when you put it in your mouth, and they hide it under their tongue, it melts. Yeah. It melts, so by the time he gets back to his room, it's all gone. It's all gone. And then they told me he wasn't socializing, he was by himself, you know, he, and now the social work, and that was the first time, because he always run away, he's all over in different states and so on. And this was the first time I got a call, because he agreed, because it's three years I never saw him. And they agreed, he agreed that they could um, speak with me. And so one day I was at home and a social worker called and said, we have your son here. And um, the person, I said, how did, you, uh, how did he get 